This week on The Wire, official rates drop to 1%, house prices bounce back in June, and strongest auction outcomes for two years. G'day guys, my name is Tim Guest. Welcome to The Wire, the week in real estate where you can keep your finger on the pulse and stay ahead of the pack when it comes to everything finance, real estate, and investment related. Now, if it's your first time tuning in, make sure you subscribe or follow so you can follow our videos in the future. If you're a long time viewer, once again, thanks for coming back. We love to see all your interaction with these posts. So Things like uh, your likes, your loves, your angries, your comments, your questions. Don't forget, we've also got our Just Ask Tim video series every week. If you want to get your question answered live, please send it through to any of our social media channels. And if I don't answer it live, one of my team will be sure to get back to you. Uh, but finally, guys, just remember to share these uh, these posts so that your friends and family get the benefit of these valuable information as well. But let's kick it off. Let's get into the top stories happening this week. So official rates drop to 1%. So the Reserve Bank has cut official the official official cash rate twice in two months, a move not seen in more than a decade. Now at 1%, the official interest rate was last lowered in consecutive months in 2008 when it was slashed at five consecutive meetings from 7.25, and that was in August uh, to 3.25%, which is in February of 2009. Ahead of the rates decision, Treasurer Josh Frydenberg said, we do expect the banks to pass on the full, uh, the cut in full to the Australian people, the benefits of sustained reductions in their funding costs. Now, last month, ANZ and Westpac were criticised for not passing on the full rate decrease. This time, ANZ have passed on the full 25% basis points, while CBA, NAB and Westpac passed on only some. Uh, real estate consumers are already enjoying mortgage rates at unprecedented levels, and this is coming from mortgage broker Louise Lucas from the Property Education Company, and says that some lenders are now offering interest rates to owner occupiers below 3%. We do have access to some interest rates lower than 3%. So uh, the, the biggest thing to be looking for if your own interest rate is, doesn't have a th or isn't, isn't lower than 4%, you want to be speaking to our team. Now, falling interest rate are a part of the trend of positive events which have lifted sentiment and, and has the housing market shaping up for a stronger second half to the year. Now, Ray White Chairman Brian White, who runs the nation's largest real estate franchise, says the cash rate reduction to 1% is a further shot in the arm for the property market while new home sales are dramatically improving. Also, developer Harry Triggerboff says, rate, the rate cut will help the housing market's recovery. Of course, it will be better. This all helps. Uh, prices are starting to come back. They've hit the bottom already and they won't go down anymore. Now, uh, once again, if you're someone that's interested in property investment, you want to be getting in now before prices continue to increase. Uh, we also saw some house prices, um, house price increases in June. So house prices bounced back in June. House prices around the country have posted their first monthly gain since 2017 to sign the market downturn in our biggest cities may be over. So both SQM Research and CoreLogic recorded increases for the two biggest cities in June, while SQM also also found uplift in Brisbane, Perth, Adelaide and Hobart. CourtLogic recorded monthly rises for houses in Sydney, Melbourne and Hobart and increases for apartments those three capital cities as well as Darwin. It was the first monthly increase in Sydney since the market peaked in July 2017 and in Melbourne since its peak in November 2017. CourtLogic says it's an early sign that lower mortgage rates and improved sentiment are already having a flow on effect. Also, on top of this, economic researcher Moody's Analytics have forecast property price growth next year across every capital city in Australia except Hobart. Moody's National Price Index for Home Values has fallen almost two, for almost two years, but Sydney, Melbourne, Brisbane, Perth, Adelaide, Darwin and Campbell will all see a steady recovery in 2020. 20, according to Moody's analytics report. The Hobart property market, which has been the leader amongst the capital cities over the past two years, is projected to drop slightly between 2020 and 2021. Now, on top of this, we also saw the best um, auction outcomes for the past two years. So let's just run a few of those details there. So cashed up buyers who've been biding their time are now starting to make their move as selling agents report an influx of inquiries. This is certainly something that we're seeing as well. More people through home opens, uh, stronger competition at, uh, at auctions is an indication of this uh, stronger inquiry. June has been the strongest month for auctions in Sydney since September 2017 and February 2018 for Melbourne. And this is according to economist Shane Oliver of AMP Capital. The momentum has well and truly improved. Uh, it does look like the housing bounce uh, since the election, it, sorry, excuse me, 
it does look like the market bounce since the election, the rate cut and APRA talking about relaxing its serviceability test is continuing. Melbourne has shown robust signs of a market turnaround with a preliminary clearance rate of 73% over the weekend from a pool of 463 auctions. And according to Domain's collection results, 68% of properties sold under the hammer in Sydney on Saturday from 428 scheduled auctions compared to 55% the previous week. Domain economic, uh, economist Trent Wilshire says Melbourne clearance rate should remain near 70% after all of the auction, uh, 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 auction results are tallied. He says a low number of auctions is probably boosting results, although they still remain strong. So guys, that covers off all the top stories happening from the week in real estate. A couple of quick things before you go. If you're new, make sure you follow and subscribe. If you're a long time viewer, thanks for coming back. Make sure you comment, question, love, like, angry. Also make sure you share this with your friends and family. And if you've got a question for our Just Ask Tim video series, make sure you send it through to one of our social media channels at T uh, Tim Guest AU or at Infinite Wealth AU should hook you up with us. Apart from that guys, a bit wet out there, stay out of the rain, have a great weekend and I look forward to speaking to you next week. See you guys, bye.